Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, I know that last time we didn't get to see much action because I was too busy faffing around trying to talk to girls, but uh, this time we'll get down to it. So picking up from where we left off, we are at the 946. I, 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 I can't read the kanji. <laughs> My kanji is too terrible. Anyway, we're in B3. That's all we need to know. Alright, so, so before we get anywhere, let's look at what we have. Alright, this is the menu screen, or should I say the character screen, where we have the, uh, the four characters in our party. Mm, let's see, check the items, what items do we have? Absolutely nothing. Alright, so let's check the status. Nothing much, nothing all the ordinary, the usual stats, you know, HP, MP, attack, magic attack, defense, magic defense, and speed. Attribute S to M. I think this is the kind of um, treatment, I would say, <laughs> that this character prefers. And at the bottom, you see the girl's order. This is basically the individual character's side quest in order to unlock. Hmm, how should I put it? In the previous game, it, it actually unlocked more, uh, it, it unlocked the higher level skills for them. Speci and uh, those high level skills are usually character specific and unique. So let's see, triangle for skill list, and well, as expected, she has nothing. Hmm. Alright then. Let us still forth to reclaim our innocence in the face of this calamity. And our instructor, or should I say our superior, is bugging us again. She sounds really ex she sounds really positive for you know considering what's going on here, you know, the space between heaven and hell going all kaput. Uh, yeah. Uh, here it is. Here is the main meat of the game. The punishment system. Now, before we get into that, let's let's start from the beginning. You see that little light on the right? That is that is your camp where you basically can save the game. And besides that, you can buy items and well, perform punishments on your party. <laughs> what kind of punishments? If they continue the aesthetic from the previous game, the first is spanking. Yes, in order to teach your party skills, you have to um, perform various SM punishments on them. That is the entire premise of this game, and pretty much why it's fun, <laughs> so to speak. And yes, as you can see, our character is uh, like, wait, what? Punishment? And of course, there's the, there's the insane troll logic for this entire system. Now, because you know they're inherently bad people, so in order to further the advancement to be reincarnated as good people, uh, you need to constantly reinforce them that you know, reinforce in them that you know they're actually bad people, and you need to basically punish them such that they will be less inclined to <laughs> commit sins in their new life. Basically, that. And apparently, according to our superior here, it's pretty much the best, most efficient way of reforming these half-criminals. Alright, here we go. Let's see, who shall we choose first for our first um, treatment, shall we say? <laughs> That's right, girl with the big hat. She she is completely aware that of what's of what's incoming for her. Hey, since when the SM means skip Marion Marion? I can't pronounce it. Marionetto. No, it doesn't mean that. It means subtle masochism. Now she's got the right idea. It's um the literal translation will be naughty pranking, but. I prefer to use the word teasing instead of pranking. Ah, 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 now you know what's incoming for you, go with the big hat. <laughs> the 
Dear Shinoa, here thinks that we are not serious about uh, this punishment. Continue believing in, in the fact that we will not punish you because. Alright, I've decided. She's the first one. She's gonna be the first one I'm gonna punish. I'd like to trample on her faith in us. Ah, ah, ah. definitely. Yes, sweetheart, you are the first. It's not a joke. All this music. Yes, this is the one. This is the punishment music. Let us now sort. Out, let us now sort out our thoughts and see what we are supposed to do. Hmm. Eh, really? So we are supposed to track the... So basically we are supposed to scrub her down. What kind of punishment is this? I was, I was looking forward to spanking. Okay, let's um try. What's going to happen? Oh my. Okay, follow that damn thing. No! Okay, good. Thank God for touch screens. Hmm. That was simple. Now, for this one, it seems like you must aim, you must actually aim the brush at the foam. Because where my finger touches, right, you see, is the middle of the brush. So, what I'm supposed to do is to, like, you know, aim the brush here and, and kind of scrub her like this. Okay. What happens if the foam is at the bottom of the screen? I hope they're not going to be sadistic. What is this? Oh, change direction of the brush. Oh! So triangle changes the direction of the brush to... Okay. Now, don't ask me why am I brushing such, such a strategic spot, okay? There are perfectly profound reasons for this which I will not go into. Oh, come on. You enjoyed it. I'm sure you did. Okay, let's see. Yep. We can choose a skill. Oh, okay. So we have a choice between an S or an M skill slot. Hmm. And there are some there are some skills like for example this one, right? The uh, uh, attack level one. Yes, you must teach them how to attack. <laughs> anyway, there are some skills like, you know, attack the, the attack command where it doesn't really matter whether they're S or whether they are S or M. Which, which pretty much makes sense, you know. Okay, and the good thing is that, let's, let's say for example, you, you have an S skill, but you know, you need to change it to M for the, for the occasion. It's possible too, you can do that. It's, so it basically gives you like a, a choice between two skills, where you can mix and match the different uh, like S and M skills between the levels, so that you know, we can't, okay, your character won't be so pigeonholed into what it's doing because that's, that's the main problem with the first game because the first game, the, the first game is like they were kind of doing the same thing throughout the entire game you know, there's not, there's not much to change once you, once you have grinded out all the skills there's pretty much nothing for them to do and there's no items either because or should I say there's no gear either because well, they're prisoners you don't, you don't like give your prisoners like fat loot and stuff so what you have, what you, what you really have is just your skills and it was a very linear progression, I'd say. So having this S and M combination, which is pretty interesting. Anyway, enough talk. Let us choose a skill. S. Oh my. Oh, uh, we won't let you be forgetting that treatment in a hurry. Anyway, let us now make camp. All right. So there's two options here. First one is portal, second is camp. Portal is useful later, you know, when you have multiple camps and you can teleport between the different camps. But first, let's go to camp. And yes, like the first game, this looks more like a... How do I discover it? You know, there, there are various things to be said when your camp is a very large circular bit where 
multiple girls are sitting on it and looking at you with those come hither eyes and um yeah. <laughs> Uh, let, let us um, straighten up, <laughs> get on with it. So the four options at on the left, rest, punish, shop, and save. So rest is well basically recover your health and MP, and punish is well, go into the punishments menu and teach your girls new skills. Shop, well, the shop and save, well those are pretty explanatory. No, it's not a chain. Now, for the punishments, right, you can't you can't just like you know just randomly like spend half an hour just punishing them for free, you know, it, it actually costs money. In this case it's called OP. Don't ask me what OP stands for. It's just the currency here. So first let's choose the character to punish. I don't think I have any money to to punish anyone yet. The first one first ones are usually complimentary. I know that sounds kinda weird given the situation, but uh let's not go too deeply into that. Uh, she no, yep, we don't have. What's this extra voice here? What's this? Hmm, extra voice. On. On, 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 on. I have no idea. What's this? Oh my. What kind of pose is this? Uh, oh, <clears throat> moving on. So anyway, let's see what items do we have on sale. Yep, your usual like uh, heal, heal pot, or should I say, yeah, heal pot. Then there's the EOE heal with heal your entire party, and then there's res. Now, at the lower levels, you'll be buying a lot of these potions, the, the resing potions, because yeah, it's only at the higher levels that you are, that your characters gain the ability to res other characters. Alright, so let's save this. Alright. Yes, I'm trying to figure out where to go. So, anyway, before we finish up for today, let's uh, go into a fight and I'll show you how a battle takes place. Oh, chest. And we have two, med two meds. Uh, yes, this is another problem that the game loves to throw at you. Locked doors. At the later stages, you will not only encounter locked doors, you will encounter portals, uh, and some some puzzles which I can't remember what they actually were, but honestly, it was kind of painful to walk through all of them, especially when you can't, you can't really turn off random encounters. Well, you could. Some... Some credits had a skill to lower encounters, to lower the encounter rate, but you know, random encounters are just that, random, and perfectly annoying. That is, that is very simple logic, you know, it's a, oh, it's a test to, it's a test for your reincarnation, that's why there's this locked on no. Yep, as you can see, this is the kind of initial problems with the group. You know, when you just form you just form them together and they're like kind of like all over the place, they don't follow what you say. But you know, as you go along, they you earn their trust via the girl's order. And you know they kinda of fall fall into place and become pretty cool. Yes, yes. Look for it somewhere. Look for the key somewhere. That's always the case. Uh, okay, let's see. What's this? It's a very big button to open the small door. Okay, well, it's not a small door. Hmm. Yes. Yes, the rich girl taking credit. <laughs> anyway, you know, the one thing I was—I mean, it's a, minor, it's a minor thing, but the animation for opening the door, they improved it. Last time it was just like stop motion slamming. Now it actually like looks smooth.
Uh, this raising motion always useful. Do you want to think where are the encounters? I don't see any enemies right now. Um. Oh well, I'm sure we'll meet them soon. Yay, more boxes. Money! Let's go back and punish somebody. Alright, where's the base camp? I'm sure it's here. Is it? Ah, yes. Oh! Okay, so the base camp actually has the image of the bit. Oh yes, I have this hard thing here which I want to introduce to you. It's called my brush. I realize that I'm making really weird noises while doing this. Hey, what the hell? Okay, I almost felt that one. Oh. <laughs> now I'm feeling refreshed already. Let's save it. Man, I know I'm sounding like a real perf here, but you know. But given the circumstances, you can't help it, you know. This game is meant to bring out your, your inner perf. Or your inner as uh your inner as a, what's this? Signboard. Blah 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 blah. Alright, nothing really important. <laughs> Ah, here it is, our first mob. Come on, this is the... This is the place between heaven and hell, what are you expecting? Ponies? Yeah, see, even she knows. Even the extremely relaxed, um, big... Tracks of land, sister knows that you know this is hell. Actually, this is between heaven and hell, and you don't really see ponies as enemies. Come on. Anyway, let's skip this and let's go straight to the attack. Oh yeah, I like the screen. Uh, it's the same mob, dead worm. All right, so here it is. Now, unlike most RPGs where each uh character has their own set of commands and you can command each individual person in a party, in Criminal Girls. Each person in your party will suggest a course of action to take, and you will have to make the decision to take that to take that action. Now, of course, um, being a JRPG, some suggestions are some suggestions are pretty inane, but there will be at least one which you know is pretty reliable. Like one will be like attack, heal, or cast a spell, etc., etc. Now, as you can see here, because I this party doesn't really doesn't have many skills trained, so wait a minute, I thought I trained you. Come on. She's saying that her stomach hurts. Right. Anyway, now you see because these two characters, they haven't actually I haven't trained them yet, so there's no there's no available commands, so they just have nothing. They won't suggest anything. Whereas for her, I have trained her, so she so she's the attack command. Yeah, we had <laughs> we had to train the attack command. Anyway, so here it is. Let's choose that. Now I choose the target. Hmm. Alright, the animation is also quite it's also smoother than the Criminal Girls 1 because Criminal Girls 1 it was like well, the character will swing, then like a split second later the attack will actually come out. So it the action was kinda of, of disjointed. Yeah. So yeah, I mean this game's pretty good. I mean, it, they improve a lot of things, namely the animation. And so far, I haven't really had a character that I really hate, other than the small girl, the more uh, active small girl. We get to it later. Anyway, let's finish off this worm. Or should I say slug? And that's it. Yes, this place is full of criminals that want to stop you from being reincarnated because you know they're jealous that they can't get reincarnated. You know, I understand what they're, what they're going through. Oh, 
Oh, come on, there's no way that's safe. Oh, are you con oh, she's concerned for the other two small kids. The two um, lollies. Anyway, yeah, so that was an example of how the combat system works. I, I mean, you might think that it's kind of like straightforward because, well, like I said, there aren't actually many available commands left for us. But don't worry, at the higher levels, you know, you, you get to you get to have a lot more like options and they'll throw a lot more inane commands that doesn't make sense. And that's where the real, the main meat of the game comes from, you know, making the, I won't say the best command, or sh shall I say, is taking the least painful situation, uh, no, the least painful route. Anyway, uh, I'm going to wrap this up here now. I hope you enjoyed this short snippet of, like, the gameplay in this game. And I'll see you next time.